What's going on everyone? My name is Triforce Addiction and today we have some very exciting footage to show today. So yesterday we got some news that THQ Nordic will be attending this little, uh, I guess, digital event that happens in Germany for gaming. And THQ Nordic are guests and they are going to be interviewed. So of course it piqued all of our interests and now we finally get to see a little bit more extended gameplay footage for Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. And the gameplay footage that they showed us today was actually very, very interesting because we did find a lot of different details pertaining to this game. So what we saw here, it did satisfy all of our needs, I guess. Um, it is very interesting to see how this game is turning up to be. Um, I'm not sure if this is a final build or one of the last builds that they had, but this thing looks pretty much close to finished. So before I get into this discussion, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure to like because it does help the channel a lot. And make sure to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, whichever you prefer. Some people prefer Twitter or Instagram. So yeah, let's get started. So the first place that they decided to show us was Kelp Forest. So, so far we haven't gotten a trailer for Kelp Forest. But there is a lot of things to notice here. Um, well, the cutscenes are pretty, uh, I, I guess, basic. That's They're the way they're supposed to be. It really does look nice. Um, I have to say, the little, the three stacked robots, I don't know what their names are, but like the fire that they have is just very, very amazing. So yeah, pretty much uh, Kelp Forest is lit up and looks really, really nice. It looks like the way Kelp Forest should be, how it should have been in the original game. But also, there are a lot of different features in this game. Um, well, at least in this like video that we saw. So the first thing that I noticed is that the AI has been like I guess I you could say perfected in its own way because you know the robots are acting correctly. You know they're not you, they're not hesitating to attack. They're not taking forever to like figure out that you're right in front of them. You know they're they're working pretty well. And for the overall balance, it does seem to be like actually pretty good so another thing that i saw which was probably one of the best things was when spongebob goes inside the portal head so i could guarantee you with absolute certainty it doesn't do anything i think it's just a reference to the movie game but yeah it's one hell of a reference and i really appreciate it the next thing i saw was the arf robot so arf robot was has not really been displayed that well in this game i mean we haven't really seen him in action until now and I have to say, he does look pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. And I do love the animation that he has whenever he is uh, hovering, like, to a different area. Like, he has that little thing where his, like, his arms, or I mean, not his arms, his feet are, like, just, like, wiggling. It just looks really adorable. Balance-wise, he's okay. I mean, he takes pretty much the same amount of hits to kill. But, like, if I have to say one thing is that his, usually when he hits you with the doghouse... Or like when he slaps you or something, it's usually very fast. It's like very quick and brief. But here it seems to have like slowed down like a little bit. Like you could see right here, like you, it just it just looks really slow. Like it takes him a while to actually try to hit you. So yeah, Arf looks pretty cool, but he got a slight nerf. So another interesting change that I saw in this game is the outline for the golden spatula. So now a golden spatula is now covered by this... The, like this yellow circle with lines all over it just it has like some sort of special shining effect and before when we saw the pre-alpha footage for jellyfish fields when you see spongebob acquire the golden spatula um it really didn't have any like special effect other than just spinning so when it comes to the cruise bubble it is one of the most controversial things right now according to zach pack and pretty much all the others um because due to the fact that it seems to be a little bit slower but when i see this gameplay footage right here, it does look like he's a little bit, it's a little bit faster or like, you know, the speed accelerates the more you travel with it. I don't know, maybe it's just like an optical illusion thing because, I mean, maybe it looks slower because it's in third person perspective. So really, I don't know. But is it something that we should really make a big deal out of? I don't believe so because, I mean, who, like, who really cares? It's not hurting anyone. So when I was watching Zach Pack's reaction video, um, one thing to note is that w when he saw the bus stop change to Goo Lagoon, um, he said it, he probably thought it was live gameplay footage. He even said it was live gameplay footage, but I think it was just like kind of like pre-made because I mean maybe uh, they just paused it at the right moment and and then just cut 
towards Ghoul Lagoon, and now it looks like you just like teleported from Kelp Forest to Ghoul Lagoon. So really, just don't think anything of it, because that's not really going to happen in the real game. So now that we're in Ghoul Lagoon, I'd just like to point out one little glitch that I saw. When Patrick was throwing the first Tiki to those other Tikis, I noticed that he did like this kind of like Michael Jackson type throw. I don't know what that was, it just looked kind of wacky to me. So I think that's probably a little movement glitch that they have to fix. But yeah, I just saw that and it just looked weird to me. So a few seconds passed by in the Ghoul Lagoon footage and I noticed that um, they did a, a major change to Patrick. Um, they actually made him uh, aerial capable of attacking enemies. So just like you saw right there, he literally just used his belly to attack Monsoon in midair. And that's something that Patrick was never able to do in the original game. So um, how I feel about this, I don't really know because it feels like it makes the game a little bit too easy. But at the same time, you know, it's a pretty decent change for Patrick because sometimes there could be like a lot of aerial enemies and Patrick is pretty much helpless. And another weird bug that I saw after that when, you know, when Patrick's trying to get the sock from the lifeguard towers, I noticed that when he throws the fruit, it doesn't really, the gravity seems to be a little bit weird with the melon. Um, usually, like, if you throw a watermelon at a switch, usually it goes down pretty fast. But for some reason, when he throws it, it just goes down really slowly and it just gravitates towards you. And, you know, that's not really necessary because, I mean, you only need one try to take down this uh, switch. So just tune the gravity so that the watermelon could go down a little bit quicker and you br be pretty much golden. So now that we're done pretty much analyzing the complete Ghoul Lagoon footage that we saw, um, now it's time to focus on downtown Bikini Bottom. So the first thing I noticed with Sandy is that whenever she's using her lasso, I, I feel like it got nerfed, I think, perfectly. So usually a lot of people complain, well not a lot of people complaining, but a lot of people have said that the that the lasso technique, you know, the hovering lasso for Sandy has always been kind of broken because you could pretty much hover for a long time. So what I noticed that they did with the lasso technique is that whenever she's flying, she gradually lowers in altitude. So what I mean by that is that whenever she's actually doing a lasso hover, like she seems to be going down like slowly as she keeps moving forward. So my best guess, they made this adjustment so that, you know, platforming has to be a, taken a little bit more cautiously. So yeah, think twice the next time you decide to lasso hover with Sandy. So once Sandy made it to the rooftops, I noticed one thing about this, this entire platforming section. They're actually, the Chuck robot is missing its introduction clip right here. Um, I don't know if that's part of this build, you know, maybe this build doesn't really have it. Or, you know, maybe they just took it out completely and we just don't know it yet. So another robot that we haven't gotten to see for a while, or if at all, is the Tartar robot. So one thing to notice with this guy is that he has a slight speed buff. So now he's able to, uh, you know, shoot his Tartar sauce a little bit faster than before. So another thing that changed in Downtown Bikini Bottom are the trampolines here. So um, all except one have been changed to like this... I guess they're all facing vertically now instead of being slanted to their respective sides. And another nice touch that they added was the fact when you actually go on the trampoline and you're bouncing, you do this little twirly effect uh, whenever you go to another trampoline. It is pretty nice to see. So finally here we get to see like the truck robot in action. And I have to say Shift was right. Like he is pretty stupidly slow. Um, his accuracy is not that bad. But I think he would have to be faster to be a little bit better. They kind of nerfed him a little bit too hard, but just, you know, tweak him a little bit to make him slight, just slightly faster and he'll be good. So we finally made it to the industrial park where you fight Robot Patrick. And there are quite a few things to notice here. Um, well, pretty much the main thing is that th like the fight seems to be a lot fast paced. And, you know, now looking at these little cursors right here. You know, the red cursors were like, it basically shows where the projectiles are going to land. You know, seeing it now, it just, it really doesn't make a difference. So I, I guess at this point, I don't really mind it being in the game. Um, Zach Pack pretty much said the same thing. Um, another thing to notice is that Patrick's spinning is like extremely slow. 
but it does make up for how fast he attacks with the others like with the other attacks that he has just based on how this boss fight goes it seems to be a little bit faster um you know back then in the original it did take a while to you know finish the boss fight but here it seems to be at a much faster pace with the exception of his spinning thing so like whenever he does those little whenever he like does that little attack with his ice cream cone um he basically does it like instantly especially when he spits out the acid too but really these are all the changes that i saw within these three pieces of gameplay footage there there really wasn't a lot of bugs it's just just little minor like just glitches that needs to be fixed you know just nothing crazy um but it is nice to see how much that robots have changed how much robot patrick has changed how much patrick himself has changed and even sandy but yeah anyways like i said this is the end of this video so if you are new make sure to subscribe to this channel for more battle for bikini bottom rehydrated content and once again, my name is Triforce Addiction. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.